Afternoon driver, both passengers here before your 1600 departure. Hey everyone, welcome back to Trends in 2019. We're on a class 91 for a change. A GNER 91, so open the doors. And let's get this train set up for departure. So, master key in. Neutral. Speed limit is 40. Turn the instrument lights on. Um, set the lights. So, marker lights and main lights. Like this. The tail lights are on. So, we're pretty much ready for departure. The next stop is Marsden at 1641. So this is Port Keen on the Marsdenshire route by Josh Trains. This is the southern, or is, it, is it southern or eastern? I'm going with the eastern because if you look on the map, we are here, and our destination is there. So this is a train from Kings Cross to Cairn Lockross. Where we'll be calling at Port Keen, Marsden, and Cairn Lockross. So this is basically a fast train. So the speed limit is 40 miles per hour, and it's soon going up to 70. And next stop is in 10 miles. So we're in a GNER class 91 set. And the scenario is set in the year 2000. So this is the second video on the Martinshire map. The first one I've uploaded but it's not public yet because it will go up tomorrow. And by tomorrow I mean Tuesday. When you're watching this it's probably Thursday. So I think for this video I'll probably do a bit of commentary leaving the station, speed up, speed up the footage until we approach the next stopping station, just to keep the video length down and so I don't have to wait for the video to upload for ages. So I'll probably speed up the video from here and then slow back down again just outside Marsden. So we are approaching Marsden. This is the sidings where I've plonked some stuff into it, like some coaches, 156, 47, and 158. There's a GNER 91 set to King's Cross. So speed limit has gone down to 70 miles per hour with the lag. I think it's going down to 50 or is it 40? 50. It's 
Going down to 50 from here. So, like I said in the last video, I have set this now. Uh, I've set the route in Scotland because of the names. So, I'm going to just squat right at 156s and 158s. So, we are very close to Marsden Station. It has six, seven platforms. So, I got 1, 2, 3A, 3B, 4, 5, and 6. station is right around this corner. So our speed limit is now going down to 50 miles per hour. And we are cleared into platform 2. This is Martin Station, the junction with the line from the pier. And the third rail line that exists. Yeah, the platform here is very long. So aiming to stop right at the end of the platform. Might have broke a little early. There's a DMU EMU stop sign. Looking for the HST stop sign because they're normally the same length, approximately. Oh, I don't think there is one. I'll just stop here. Oh, it's there. And arrival at Marsden. The next stop is Cairn Lockross, arriving at 16:38. I like how the Class 91 traction motor fan thing sound it makes it very unique. It's a shame that most of them are being installed as the 800s, 801s are being into service. That probably doesn't make sense. I'm tired, okay. So the speed limit departing Marsden is 50 miles per hour and it's slowly going up to 125 in a bit. The next speed change is at 90 miles per hour. So we should be uh, we should be going at 125 most of the way to Cairn Lockross. The junction to the right it goes to Anstone, the very very long way to Anstone. I think it goes up a mountain. I, know, I don't know if I'll do a video on that because it seems a bit long, very long. So there's nothing much to say. I mean, there, there's a power station coming up, coming up at an airport, but you can see that you can see it for yourself. So the speed limit is now going up to 90 miles per hour, and the next speed change should be up to 25. So I'll just, I'll just speed up the video from here and then slow it back slow it back down again on the approach to Cairn Lacrosse.
on now. So Cairn Lacrosse is the northern terminus of the electrified main line from Marsden and Port Keen. The line does go further north to somewhere. I mean it's fictional, it could go to anywhere. So I just I just imagined in my own timetable that I've made that most trains actually terminate at Cairn Lacrosse and then go back to King's Cross. Because Cairn Lacrosse isn't really meant to be a terminus station, there's no real good turn back points. So imagine trains from King's Cross kind of go a bit forward to the junction, then turn back into the up platform. It kind of it's kind of strange how the outer two platforms aren't electrified. Seems weird. So I have made a scenario so we actually go to the junction and then turn back, but that's probably not interesting. So I'm going to, so I'm going to end the video here. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed me driving this class 91 up to Cairn Lacrosse. I need to slow down more. I might have overshot the platform. If you can stop. So, first like if you like the video, subscribe for more train sim content. There's a lot of it coming. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.